What's going on everybody? I'm Mr. Influence, bringing you another crypto video. In this video, I will be telling you my top three privacy coin picks, as well as a little article about privacy coins. So let's get right into it. In the beginning, I mean, at the end of 2017 and the beginning of 2018, I was saying quite a bit that I believe 2018 will be the year of the privacy coins. It seems like my theory is coming to life a little bit. Let's go over this article. Japan's financial regulator is pushing crypto exchanges to drop altcoins favored by criminals. If you want privacy, you're a criminal. Let's keep going. In order to prevent money laundering and other criminal activity, Japan's financial services agency is quietly pressuring cryptocurrency exchanges to giving handling Monero, Zcash, and Dcash and other cryptocurrencies favored by criminals and hackers. Sources close to the FSA confirmed that they were talking all available steps to discourage the use of certain alternative virtual currencies that have become attractive to the underworld because they are difficult to track. Man, I'm pretty sure the dollar is the most used currency for crime. Let's keep going. In September of last year, the European Union's law enforcement agency, Europol, released a report that warned other cryptocurrencies such as Monero, Ethereum, and Zcash are gaining popularity within the digital underground. Criminals who were some of the earliest adopters of Bitcoin have increasingly dropped at cryptocurrency for transactions in favor of Monero and other less traceable altcoins. According to the Japanese authorities, it is very difficult, if not impossible, to identify the recipients of currencies like Monero via a blockchain or any other public ledger. The anonymity makes the coins ideal for money laundering. The blockchain public ledger for Bitcoin makes it possible for seasoned investigators to follow the money. Increasingly, cyber criminals choose these new privacy coins when they demand ransom payments or engage in sales of illegal goods. Coincheck, the troubled Japanese cryptocurrency exchange, handled all three currencies mentioned above before they were hacked on January 26th. After suspending operations and fully returning to business, the firm stopped handling all three currencies. Coincheck had applied to be a registered entity with the FSA in September of 2017, in line with the newly revised payment services laws, but had not been approved at the time of the hack. On March 16th, GG Press reported that Coincheck was dropping transactions in Monero and two other hard-to-track cryptocurrencies. The report suggested that this was part of a company's attempt to show better compliance standards after the January 26th hack of Coincheck. The FSA has ramped up their inspections of all operating registered cryptocurrency exchanges. The FSA has also informed other exchanges applying to be registered that dealing with these three highly anonymous cryptocurrencies would be detrimental to gaining approval. Looks like we have a war going on on privacy coins, but that's not a bad thing. That's really, really not a bad thing. Um, so just a few things I wanted to point out. Uh, first off, I'll leave the article in the description if you guys want to check it out one more time. Um, it is it is a pretty pretty serious topic. Uh, so yeah, Bitcoin is a hundred percent traceable, like they said here. The way it is traceable is if they go to a explorer, a block explorer or, or whatever, and they type in a wallet address, and then from there they see all the transactions that wallet did. And if it leads to a, an account like Coinbase or something like that, then your identity is revealed. With privacy coins, you do not have the same thing. It is actually untraceable, like they said here. It's very, it is very difficult, if not impossible, to do. Um, yeah. So now let's get into my top three. My top three um, privacy coin picks. The first, the number three place being Electronium. Now, I got into Electronium at ICO price. It is a privacy coin forked off of Monero, um, but it is a lot cheaper. And I picked this one instead of Monero because not only because it's cheap, but the fact that they are also doing a lot of business stuff. Uh, they already have tons of partnerships. They have a big partnership in the mobile industry. They have a mobile app, mobile wallet, all that good stuff. Uh, just think it's a very, very good project with a good team and i like the fact that it's business i do go for these business related cryptocurrencies because i believe if revenue is incoming then the value of the company should go up and it seems to to be like that at times um number two we have xvg verge now this one has been around for quite some time uh four years or so and um they recently partnered with my number one pick 
it is the reason why I'm behind Verge because I wouldn't be behind Verge if it wasn't for this. They also recently got a partnership with Pornhub. Now, a lot of people dumped on the news. It was a uh, buy the room and sell the news type of thing. And um, But now that the price has fell quite a bit, I picked up some more. I believe Pornhub is actually a great, great partnership. It's a start of a snowball effect of partnership. It's just going to keep going. And when we go to my number one pick, Token Pay, I also got behind this on ICO price. ICO price was $6, but there was a bonus, so you could have got it as low as $3 a piece, something like that, um, at the current Bitcoin price. But this is my number one privacy coin. It's my number one pick. The circulating supply, the total supply, the max supply is all very small. The price is still very undervalued compared to some of these coins like Monero, $212. Zcash, which is $252. Dash, which is $410. Pretty, pretty undervalued. And it is more secure than the other ones. It is more private than the other ones. And here is why. So first off, let me just go. This is the white paper. I'll leave a link in the description to this as well. So here are the anonymity features. Um, so just like Monero, we have these six, which is stuff, addresses, ring signatures, zero knowledge, proofs, untraceable, unlinkable, end to end anonymity. anonymity. I have a very hard time saying that word. I'm sorry for that. Maybe it'll change in the future. So this one, this Monero has. So Monero is the closest competitor. Uh, Dash doesn't have any of these. Bitcoin doesn't have any of these. Zcash has four of these, which is untraceable, zero knowledge proofs, uh, and, and so on. Um, but what Token Pay has is a secure chat and a Tor network integration. Uh, as you can see in a diagram up here, where is this? Uh, the white paper is a very, very nice white paper. If you guys want to check it out, make sure you check it out. It is definitely worth checking out. Where are we? Right here. So as you guys can see, we have the multi-signature, ring signature, secure communication interface. Um, it's, an, it's a communication interface built into the wallet on your desktop wallet. They are working on an iOS wallet and all that other stuff. But there's a chat in there where you can chat with, let's say, the person that's buying a product from you or a, fam a family member that you want it to be private. You have a place to chat. Then you have dual key stuff addresses, zero knowledge proof and multi-signature, like I said, around and then all based on Tor network integration, which is awesome. Uh, there was recently an interview with Derek Capo, the CEO of token pay it's a very good interview it is right here let me just show you guys i'll leave a link in the description so you don't have to do this but if you do like doing your own research then you just it's it, it's it's just all based on a lot of typing and opening a lot of links uh so this interview right here in this interview he talks about the token pay bank deal that we have um token pay now owns 9.9 percent .9 of a german bank uh with the option to buy the rest. The reason for this is because an individual or a corporation can only buy 9.9% un um, until they go through regulatory approval. And Derek said that's exactly what he's going to be going for. He wants um, this whole bank to them. But Token Pay partnered with Verge. Now, why this is a thing that everybody is overlooking and makes me want to stock up on both even more is that because now when Verge gets a partnership, Token Pay gets some type of part in that partnership. That's the deal that they worked out. Um, the reason for this deal was because Verge was fundraising money to get this partnership with Pornhub. They were quite a bit off. They were like 10, 15% off and it was already coming to a close. And uh, Derek called Justin from Verge and he was like, hey dude, I couldn't do this under these circumstances. Um, I want you I want to partner together you will get a verge debit card all this good stuff and uh, Derek saw this in a very good way because it could help out both coins um, the communities collide and then there's just way more partnerships av available especially that they have a bank and a debit card it makes easier it makes stuff easier for verge and token pay and as you guys can see verge has a huge huge community they have over 300,000 um followers on twitter insane token pay has quite a bit of a good amount too 22.5 thousand really really not bad but as you can see 
we don't see any crazy crazy big spikes in token pay yet um definitely my number one pick for 2018 i think i said pretty much everything i wanted to say if you guys want to learn more about token pay i'll leave a link in the description to this interview i'll leave a link in the description to the white paper i will also be at the verge meet <coughs> in amsterdam june 9th um hopefully i'll be able to live stream some some of the event uh for you guys if you guys are interested in privacy coins now i wanted to talk about real quick why this is a good thing now this is a good thing because if the target for 2018 for for these governments will be privacy coins because those are the ones that they cannot track then i believe people will get behind these privacy coins because they're really really they, they're just untraceable and if more and more people join the network then it's even harder for them to trace they're really going to be tracing nothing uh, especially if you have stuff on like hardware wallets and all that stuff um, if you don't have a hardware wallet make sure you get yourself one this is pretty much the safest way to store your cryptocurrency and you're 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 pretty much th this is like your way to be private if you have your stuff stored on here nobody knows how much you have nobody knows any of that stuff because they don't know your address they don't know anything unless you gave it to them uh, but there's ways ways to do that uh, if you want to get yourself a hardware wallet it's the safest way to go with some of this stuff and i just believe if there's a war on privacy coins then that's the way that privacy coins are gonna um catch a lot of heat now everything i said in this video is not financial advice it's all my personal opinion let me know what you guys think of privacy coins and if this is the year of the privacy coins let me know in the comments below if you like this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you know every time I post a video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.